Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we will see how we can enable Google's enhanced conversions for web tracking from our app. When a customer completes a purchase on a website, the merchant receives the first-party customer data, such as an email address, name, home address, and or phone number. This data can be captured in your conversion tracking tags and sent to Google in its hashed form, which can then be used to enhance your conversion measurement. By implementing enhanced conversion tracking, Google will be able to keep track of the conversion action that may go missing with the usual tracking code implementation. Let's get started with the process. We begin by logging into Shopify using the store owner account or any other Shopify account with admin level privileges. We need these privilege levels to update the app's permissions successfully. Then navigate to Apps section. Click on the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app and visit the Tracking Tags tab on the top. From the drop-down menu, please click on the Google Dynamic Remarketing and Conversion Tracking option. Scroll down to Google Enhanced Conversions for Web. You might be prompted to update the app if you have not yet granted the required permissions to read order data from your Shopify store. Otherwise, you can activate the enhanced conversions for web using the change link as displayed here. In case of updating the app, please read the instructions carefully and then proceed with updating the app. You will be directed to Shopify's admin to update the app's permission. Please click on the Update App button on the top right. This action will take you back to our app's Google Dynamic Remarketing and Conversion Tracking tag page once the app gets updated. A pop-up will appear with a toggle button asking you to enable tracking. Please enable the toggle to activate the tracking status and click on the Save option to save the settings. If you see a pop-up saying you have not enabled the enhanced conversions in your Google Ads account, then you need to click on OK and first enable the enhanced conversion in your Google Ads account. Let's see how to enable this in your Google Ads account. Log into your Google Ads account and click on the Tools and Settings icon and go to Conversions. You will be presented with a list of conversion actions that are already recording conversions in your account. Click on the Settings option on the left as shown here. Now, on the Settings page, scroll down to Enhanced Conversions and check the Turn on Enhanced Conversions checkbox and click on Agree. From the Which method should I use drop-down, select the Google Ads API option and click on Save. Now, come back to our app and click on Save. Scroll down to the section Google Enhanced Conversions and you will see the status active. Once you enable Google Enhanced Conversions for Web, please allow at least two weeks' time to record enhanced conversions in your Google Ads account. With this, we have enabled the enhanced conversion tracking feature via our app that would help merchants improve the tracking accuracy via Google's marketing platform. Hope this helps. Please feel free to write us at support at for any further queries regarding the same.